Okay, Gwen, 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 Gwen. Ooh, that was a big, big mistake. Good afternoon. I am Rocky. Welcome back to Rimworld. Today's episode we start with Ollie mining away two more state blocks so we can connect our watermill power generator to our main power source. And we have Beck um, complimenting Campbell for cheering her up. We have Gwen still asleep. And we have Wonderful monkey, I did not see this happen last episode, but seems like we were successful in taming the monkey, which I'm disappointed can't haul, but I'm on guard. But yes, we have a monkey, I thought he'd be able to haul, so I mightn't be taming the rest of the monkeys, but yeah. And then we have Tam here, who just woke up and is going to the bar. And where's Oh, Bowman is down to just over here, and he's going to sleep. <laughs> Ali, how's it going? You just keep mining away at that. <laughs> ah. Um, consuming fine meal. You grab yourself a fine meal over there. I see Gwen's up. Beck is doing some research. Beck, you should probably go to sleep in a moment. I don't know why, I can't remember. Oh, I think Bowman's so tired because I forced him to build this thing the entire last night. And finally, our water mill generator is connected to our battery source. So that should can probably get more, but should be enough power quite a while. <laughs> How much does this generate? Power output? 1,100. Okay. Not bad. This is a lot more, but this is quite... I like the look of it. just different from the usual wind turbine and solar panels. These are just solar heats. It's a nice warm water. Two of them probably overdoing it, but meh. Okay, so Am you're growing some nice plants for us. Thank you. Planting some nice plants for us. And you're harvesting that might be our first potatoes we harvest. Congratulations. Leave the stockpile area. Um, and let's reinstall our butcher table. This corner over here. And Bowman, are you still fast asleep? Yes, you are. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to wait a while before our butcher table can get carried to its new location in the kitchen, but fine with me. Tam cheering up Campbell once again. Campbell, I really need one thing that will help people like Campbell that can't get out of bed due to illness or something is having a TV in their room. So if somewhere buy it from a trader or research how to make our own televisions then the people that are in the sick bed won't have this creamy low recreation all the time. There's <laughs> a minus 10 debuff which is quite who trapped on the ground. So, and maybe not to walk at all. I'm going, what are you doing? Taking cabbage. Taming the elephant. Yes. Hopefully the elephant I'm trying to tame won't uh, try and kill us. But... Eh, we'll see. Ooh, we have our first corn harvested as well. 
hoping I can see that being hauled into here as soon as possible. I'm booming you're finally up. Good, good news. Beck, you have a wonderful new bed with an actual nice symbol and texture on it. Lovely. Fire, this rain turned into a colonist should be running towards it in a second. Or are we just letting the rain take care of us? Okay, it is raining, so the rain should be able to take care of this fire over here. But no, we're just going to take out the last one. That fire should not Don't spread. Should we take care of doesn't look like it's been taken care of. Let's just expand our home zone to include the area. And they're playing all together with our two pets, our pet monkey and our pet German Shepherd, playing some horseshoes. Wonderful, cute sight. Okay, yeah. So here is coming. This is going to be food for months. <laughs> Corn provides a lot of food, it takes forever to grow, but finally here and finally harvest it. I'm just happy that it didn't suffer from blight or something like that. Seems like Gwen is researching. Ali is once again just creating some compost bins so that we can create some compost for us. And I do not want all of our skin to drift into nothing. Ooh, there is a fire that was not put out by the thing, so I should probably take care of that. Ah, it's started to rain now. The rain should be taking care of the fire over here over time. Yes, you can see it breaking out a lot of the flames. Thank you, thank you, Rumwald. You've been very kind to us. Okay, and Ollie, they're just helping us all. Where's everybody else? Gwen is sleeping. Sam is sleeping. Bowman, you are going to rest as well. Who is that you're carrying? Oh, one of the raiders. I should probably build them a grave. So let's just go in and build these two corpses to do graves for them to be in. Ah, and Bowman is sleeping and there's a lot of light leather here that's taking forever to, for them to haul it. So I'm going to be glad once our butcher table's inside so I don't have to worry that much about leather rotting away. And there's an elephant tusk. Let's see. Beck, you're just having a nice meal. Um, yes. So, are we turning this into a nice arrival space as soon as possible? Um, I have no idea where I want my storage to be at that moment then. Might just put it in somewhere further back. Um, Bowman, what are you up to? Just simple meal once again. Yesterday you didn't get a lot done, did you? No, you literally just pulled leather and picked up a body somewhere. That area. Roman, where are you? You're having a bath. And hopefully somebody will go and bury this body as soon as possible. Just because whenever somebody sees a body, they'll get a negative. Roman, because you hold it, You've observed a corpse, and it's minus four through their mood. Which doesn't affect Bowman right now because it's raining, and he loves rain. Just moving a wall. Gwen, what are you up to again? Training the monkey. Good. Tam is cheering up the patient like always. I can't wait for this patient to wake up, finally. Oh, 12 days. Because as soon as this patient wakes up, Tam won't be... Wasting all of her time trying to cheer her up. 
That's very kind of you, Tam. Spending most of your day just talking to her. No, she's your sister, social. Yes, sister. Making sure I'm not forgetting things. And, um, and Beck, you are our chef. Honey, what are you up to? You're consuming a fine, fine meal. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. Okay. I'm just going to speed up a bit, and since everybody's just doing their things, there, Bowman and Ollie have just been moving these walls over here, making them look very, very, very pleasant on the eye. Ollie's still busy with that, I have a feeling Bowman is just going to have a bath and go to bed. So, Beck, what are you up to? You are researching. You are, just making sure you are on... Yeah, so you're cooking, and as soon as your cooking is done, you go in here and research. I'll try and move this research bench away, just so that Gwen doesn't have disturbed sleep from Beck coming in and out of here all night. Ali, I think you're finally going to do your own room now as well, which is wonderful news. But yes, this is a bit mismatched color-wise. I think for now that's good. I'll probably replace it later. Maybe turn this into marble as well. Research finished. Pemmican. Yes. Pemmican. Um, make pemmican. Pemmican is a preserved food, so it does. You can make lots of it and it won't go bad for a very long time. So for the missions where we have to run around for a long, or run to a faraway camp, that's. Uh, Perfect meal, so I'm just going to try and put this through until you have the... Yeah, 100 should be fine, and then just the normal one. There we go. 100 pemmican. I don't know if that's enough, I might just need to do it. I might just have to make more of it. What does pemmican need? Be made. Um, details. Ah, I mean, he needs meat and vegetarian, so we'll have to hunt some more elephants if we want to get that done. Or what other, uh, other animals are here? We have jaguars, which one's up there. Where's the other jaguar? One's here, close to the elephants. Yes, we've seen that one. And final top jaguar is... Also at the left, so they're quite far away from the camp. I'm not gonna try and mess with them now. They're not using a threat to any of our um, pets, but I'm gonna put two elephants on uh, ready to be hunt meal menu, whatever. And Tam, you're getting us some nice heel roots. Wonderful Gwen, training Penelope. And Oli is doing the final one in this room. It's great. So yes, this takes a while, but it's quite impressive. The beauty of four compared to the marble wall, which is a beauty of one. So these ones are a lot more um, impressive in terms of its beauty. Um, but yes, I think now that I've seen that, I'm going to try and move these services as well. Get these ones down. Hmm. Yes, let's just get all of these. I might mine a few of them away, but... Should be fine. Bowman, you're hunting an elephant for us. And I'm guessing, Gwen, you're, you're already there. Or you're trying to tame the elephant. Wonderful. Elephant revenge. When draft get you running over here. Okay, Gwen, 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 Gwen. Ooh, that was a big, big mistake. Um, doesn't look like doesn't look like she's lost anything. Penelope, um, lost your paw and your left right leg. 
and kill Penelope. Uh, tail. Oh, okay, tail. Penelope's not dead, but it's death in five hours. And all the elephants are running towards the house now, aren't they? Every single one of them are m maddened with Manhunter at the moment. Okay, so this is going to be a full scale attack. Um, we won't be able to take the elephants on. We have to, everybody, just try and stay inside. Um, inside. Ali, I need you to go inside. Beck, I need you to go inside here. Let's try and get everybody inside before the elephants come to our base. Or attacking Bowman. Um, when no idea if you'll be able to stand up before really don't want to lose Penelope. I can't send out the colonists because the elephants will definitely get to them. Okay. Doors closed. Monkey, no, you're not allowed. Um, let's just create um, just quickly create a zone for the animals to stay in. I don't want to lose my monkey as well. New area. Rename it and call it Animal Raid. How you spell raid? Raid. And that's not how you spell animal. <laughs> animal raid. And then expand the animal raid area. So during a raid, animals are only allowed to be in this area here. And let's just include the kitchen as well. And then I can just put in all the animals on animal raid. So the monkey doesn't open the door for the elephant. Okay, they're all moving this way. Which is not good, but yes, they did not. The maddened animal will only attack the door if they need. They saw somebody go in there. At the moment, they're just running around here, looking for the humans. When, when can you stand up? Can you draw? You can't do anything. Moving is eleven percent. You're in extreme pain. This is quite intense. Should not have tried to tame the elephant. It was a mistake. Uh, a fourteen-year-old bookworm named Corey Curtis. Curtis is calling for help. She's hiding from a hostile machine persona whom she recently awoke. She wants to flee and join you at Troplex. She joins the persona will hit Troplex over psychic suppression waves. Then for nine days, using consciousness of all males. Hmm. Or a bookworm. So probably good at researching. Um, it's probably not best to accept her now. I might accept her once the elephants have calmed down. If they calm down. Um. Let me just not allow that and then I can undraft all of you. I'm sorry, Pen sorry Penelope. I really wish there was something we could do for you. It's that sad episode. I don't even want to watch it happen. Damn, you're just getting on to cleaning. Some cargo pods that crashed nearby. Penelope, you'll be remembered. The great, great Mount Cavalry Charge dog that you were. Really sorry that you had to go. It was my fault, I shouldn't have tried to tame the elephant. I'm sorry, Penelope. <sighs> Aguar, I hope you get some nice... Please don't try and kill my... Wen as well. <laughs> and back to this chaos. So what is this, these transport pods? Crash with some food. How wonderful, thank you. 
no idea how long this mad hunt, man hunter phase is going to go on for, but sending anybody out of the stage is going to be a suicide mission on its own, because this is a gigantic horde of elephants, and elephants are not something that you mess around with, as you saw with poor Penelope. When is not going to be happy because that was her favorite pet. Get you a wonderful, wonderful burial site, Penelope. When still in no immediate danger, that's good. Elephants, everybody's just getting on with their work. No idea whether Wayne or Penelope is okay or not. They can just still hear the thumping and trumpeting of the elephants outside. Poor monkey over here, not understanding why we've locked the doors. But you have at least sort of enough food to last for quite a while. Corn is still going to be okay for a while. Just don't like that its health is so low already. I'm gonna speed up and see if the elephants are going to calm down or not. Otherwise. This might just be the end of this colony. Yeah. Oh, but that's how Rome world works. It gives, it provides rain when there's fire, and then it tramples you with a horde of elephants. Only some of them are mad into manhunter at the moment. Some of them are coming, coming down, which is excellent. It means that they're probably that's what, probably calming down a bit. There's only a few left that's still in Manhunter mode. So, Gwen, how's your health looking? Okay, we only have 22 hours left, so I hope that this gets resolved before then. So it looks like it's 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 6 elephants are still in Maddened Manhunter mode. I think they're... Manhunter thing might go away once they are tired or need food. Okay, seems that there's only two left. Push comes to shove, we should be able to take care of two elephants, but I do not want to risk it. Okay, it looks like all of them have calmed down. They've, yes, so it looks like once they got hungry, they gave up on their manhunting. Um, let's just get the animal off of, put the animal on unrestricted, um, who's our best doctor, I know Gwen was a great doctor, Tam you're good, and Campbell you're good as well, so Tam please would you run and pick up our Gwen, um, the transport pod has crashed, I'll go and take a look at that now, I pause, but I think now is a good time to build a wonderful. We get a steel sarcophagus because we have the materials for it, and put Nalepi's sarcophagus down here, and we will probably try and build a, um, a park around this area as well. <laughs> very sad for poor Penelope. Um, let's get a look at this transport pod that has crashed. The Rick. Um, transport pod, it is one of our enemies that crashed nearby. Um, death in six hours. Um, I'll see if we can save him. But I have no promises. Um, i to turn this into a bed for prisoners, and Sam, can you still be able to rescue Gwen? Yes. Um, um, Ollie, I want you to strip Rick and then capture him. Or rather, just capture him and then we'll strip him once he's inside. Sam, where are you? Are you on your way? Good, good, good. You I was panicking a bit. Ali, yes, get Rick. Definitely not our priority at the moment, so I'll not have 
him look at him, or rather have Ollie himself look at him. And how much medicine do we have? Only have 14 medicine. <sighs> Ollie, what's your doctoring skill? Zero and Bowman zero. So I should put that on a four. And Ollie, can you please prioritize tending to him? Since you have no skill, I'll allow you to use some of the tribal medicine. Um, he's tamped to get Gwen in bed and then tending to Gwen. It's good, good, good. Half. I can tend to her with whatever medicine you want. Here you go, good. You grabbed some nice medicine and Gwen. Looks like you're going to be okay. <laughs> Hopefully, she doesn't get an infection. But we should still be able to treat an infection even if she gets one. There's extreme blood loss, quite bad hygiene, and trivial malnutrition, so starving a bit. Um, what's Campbell doing? Do they look after you? I have not yet looked after you, yeah. He's our prisoner, but I just want to release him. I do not think that we want to cause any more death than necessary, so we'll just release poor Rick over here. But I think on that note, this is where this episode will be ending. We have a horde of elephants on our doorstep. At least they're not attacking us anymore. Um, we have lost Penelope, but this is Rimworld and death is inevitable. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was definitely a more panicked episode than the other ones. But... As the other people go on with their lives in the background, I think we'll be ending this episode here. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat sad episode. And until the next one, goodbye.